Hi YouTubers, it's Smokey uh, C. Sasuke here today. So I'm in the garage again. I'm uh, just finished smoking a cigar. So we'll be doing a cigar review right now. So this is going to be another premium cigar, not a gas station cigar review. So this is going to be a very special cigar review, actually. This is going to be the Padrone 1926 Series 75th Anniversary Series Natural Robusto Fiber 54. About this long, Robusto size. So, as you can hear, outside it's very windy, so I obviously smoked in the garage where it's not windy. Now, the reason this is special, the cigar review, is because these cigars, uh, the 75th Anniversary Padrones in Natural Maduro, the Robusto size, they are Robusto size, are only available through FamousSmoke.com. The only way you can get these is through FamousSmoke.com. They are not, I, I do not believe they are sold, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I, don't, I do not believe they are sold in any retail stores, at least not yet. So these are a very special cigar to review. Now, this is celebrating the 75th, 75th anniversary of um, Padron or whatever. They do these special releases like the 80 year, which celebrated um, uh, Jose or Joseph Padron his uh, 80th birthday, then the 85th year to celebrate his 85th birthday, then they did the 45 year, you know, they do these special releases every now and then. Uh, they just did the 50 year uh, last, a couple of years ago, to celebrate in 2014. They celebrated the, um, what was it, the 50th anniversary of um, Padron as a company. So, enough rambling. I've rambled long enough. Let's get into this nice big ass cigar. So, first third is wood, oak, cedar, coffee, and cream. You first light up, you get a very, very, very loose draw. You really do have to watch it. Much like the um, the 50 years, Family Reserve 50 years. And by the way, this is a 1926. This is not a Family Reserve. So it's not as high quality, or let me rephrase that. It hasn't been aged as long as um, a Family Reserve. Family Reserves are aged 10 years. These are aged 5 years. So not as long of an age, but that actually can be good and that can be bad depending on the cigar. So, because age will mellow the cigar, while less age will make it more stronger, more harsh. So, wood, oak, cedar, coffee, cream. Very nice. Uh, very loose straw. You do have to watch it. Um, big, big oaky flavors. Not coffee, but big oaky uh, dessert-like um, you know, wood, cedar, uh, coffee, cream, very typical of these cigars, these big-ass cigars. Um, yeah, coffee and cream, definitely, on the uh, draw. I do highly suggest we retro these cigars every now and then, at least to get the full flavor. Very nice. Um, it really does taste very smooth, very well-aged, uh, even though these are aged only five years, compared to the Family Reserves, which are aged ten years, very good. Uh, the second third was smooth, pepper, and same flavors. Same basic flavors. Not a very traditional cigar, in my opinion, but definitely has that very good smoothness, musty taste, that oak, that cedar, that wood. Uh, pepper, I'm looking down at my notes, sorry. So very good. These are my notes right here. So, uh, yeah. The last third was same basic flavors. Tobacco, pepper, wood, that kind of stuff. It adds more of a peppery tobacco, and yeah. The overall strength was mild to medium, so surprisingly, for a 1926 Padron, these don't have a lot of strength. That really surprised me. Most of the Padron higher-end cigars, the 64s, the 1926s, the Family Reserves, have a lot of nicotine. But the, this one didn't. Very little strength, if any. So, the retrohale notes were coffee, oak, and wood. So... Decent, very decent on the retrohale. The coffee, the oak, and the wood is very predominant. The aroma was a nice smell, typical cigar smell. I mean, all cigars basically smell the same, to my knowledge. So, the burn was fantastic, no touch required. Fantastic burn, let these alchemate. When you do get these in the mail, let them alchemate for at least a week. They need time, because they go through, you know, a lot of changes, this and that. So, you do need to let them out in your humidor, coolidor, wine or tupidor, whatever. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> uh, it lasted for one hour, so decent burn time. For, for a 5x54 cigar, especially a Padron uh, Anniversary Series, uh, Special Padron 1926 Series, that's pretty fast. Um, 
depending how fast you smoke, you're going to be between, sorry about the wind, it's really windy outside, um, you're going to be between probably 50 minutes to an hour, 50 minutes on 50 minutes, 15 minutes, so around an hour, that's average cigar for cigars, but for these high quality big ass cigar padrones, that's pretty fast. So that does lose points here and there because you want a good burn time, especially when you're paying a lot of money for these. I'll get into the price point a little bit later. So uh, overall, great cigar, uh, great, fantastic cigar. Uh, wood, oak, cedar, coffee, cream, smoothness, pepper, tobacco. Great, great hashtag big ass cigar for life. Great cigar. Uh, great, fantastic cigar. Uh, 9 out of 10 for rating, great cigar. So, <clears throat> the, this is a good cigar. It's not cheap, and for the burn time, I was a little bit disappointed. I was also a little bit disappointed because it got a little bit hot at the end, the last 10 minutes or so. The last 10 minutes were a little bit hot. So, unfortunately, the draw got kind of hot at the end. Honestly, it's because of this very loose draw. I do have two more sitting. I bought the three-pack of the National Maduros. I will be reviewing the Maduros pretty soon. Uh, or the Maduro Raver, so Maduro, not Maduros, so uh, because I don't do duplicate reviews. But um, I was a little bit disappointed by that because it got kind of hot. Um, you really have to watch the draw. You really have to draw. I think I'm going to draw a lot slower, and I may make like an update video or something like that. I'm not sure. So not terrible. I mean, a great cigar, great, fantastic, big-ass cigar, oil burner. Um, but... It does get hot. You really have to watch that draw, and you really have to pretend it has some resistance. So, great cigar, not cheap. Depending on how many you want, you can't get these at a regular B&M. And again, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, if you can get these at B&M or a local tobacconist. But I believe they are only available on FamousSmoke.com. This may be a Famous Smoke exclusive cigar. So, yeah. If you buy a three pack, they're sixty three dollars plus shipping. If you buy a is it a six pack, it's like a uh, hundred something dollars. And if you buy a box of twelve or thirteen, it's like two two hundred. So pretty expensive. Uh, if you divide the cost uh, for a bundle of three, which is the lowest, these are not available in singles. You cannot get these in singles, at least not yet. So if you divide them in in singles for a three pack, it works out to be twenty one dollars a piece. So, $21, so it's on par in Pennsylvania, where Famous Smoke is based. It's on par with the number 9, the number 6, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I wish it burned a little bit slower, and I wish it didn't get as hot. So, would I suggest this to a cigar smoker? Yes. But really watch that draw and really control it, because it gets a little hot. In the last 10 minutes, were super enjoyable. So, 9 10 for rating, great cigar. So, $21. I mean, if you bought, like, the, I guess if you bought, like, the 13-pack, that might be, like, $19, but still expensive, so you're going to spend a lot of money, but these are good. Hashtag, big ass cigars for life. Anyway, comment, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe. This has been the Padrone 1926 Series, 75th Anniversary Series, Natural Robusto 5x54. I will be doing the Maduro pretty soon, so I do have the Maduro sitting in my wine door, a couple of them, so look forward to that. Anyway, like the video, share the video, rate, subscribe, and bye.